Did anyone else hear that? Am I the only one who heard some kind of beeping noise? Okay, I have no idea where that's coming from, but I wish. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Ah, so it was the good old Magic School Bus. The famous bus that took kids on adventures in the 90s and had some really outdated moments in technology. So this is where the floppies go. To the drive-in disco. Carlos! Look at that thing spin! Hey, what's with the metal toothbrush sliding across the disc? So if you didn't know already, this show is returning in a Netflix revival called Magic School Bus 360. There isn't a whole lot we know about it, but I'll be going over some of the details and seeing if this reboot will be worth watching. First of all, the biggest change I think is that it's going to be CG animated. This is completely different than the original Magic School Bus series because that's just traditional 2D animation and it's what you would expect from many old cartoons. But this reboot is going to be more modern, so I guess they wanted to change things up and make it feel like a newer show. I personally don't think this style change is a good idea because then it would really differ from the source material, but that might just be a good thing. I'm all for experimentation and seeing what works, so hopefully this change into CG animation is for the better. Regarding the plot of the show, it's basically what it was back in the 90s. Although there are a few obvious changes that are worth mentioning, like how the Magic School Bus itself is getting a huge update. It's going to be able to do a lot more since 2017 is much different than the 90s in terms of technology. We're probably going to see the episodes take on topics like robots, virtual reality, and some other really cool stuff that couldn't have been explored many years ago. The bus will change, and it'll probably be much different than how it looked in the original series. I mean, seeing it in CG will be interesting. There's another cool thing about the show that's worth pointing pointing out. Stu Stone, the voice actor for Ralphie in the original show, has hinted at his role in the upcoming revival. He said he's a little too old to be in fifth grade, but he went to the classroom and saw some of his old classmates there. He ran into some new kids and new generations that we haven't seen ever before on the show. From this, we can assume that there will be a ton of nods to the original series. You shouldn't expect all the old characters to come back and stay in the class, because their voice actors grew up and so did their characters. But we can expect the old class to play a role in some way, and I'm sure they'd be featured in several episodes. Still, it makes sense that there are new characters in Miss Frizzle's class because it would be kind of boring if we saw all the same people again. Now I'm not sure how they're going to introduce these new kids in the classroom since they could just be random people. Maybe they'll go the route of some other reboots and say that these new kids in the class are actually the kids of the old characters. That part is just speculation, but I'm still interested to see how the new classmates are introduced. You may be wondering if this show will even turn out good. Reboots don't have a history of working out since they're usually just dumb cash grabs with the lowest amount of effort possible. Honestly, I don't have high expectations for the Magic School Bus 360. It's going to be really cool seeing all the modern technology on the show, and seeing the old characters will be interesting, but I feel like this reboot just isn't necessary. That being said, some of the people who worked on the old show have an influence on this reboot, so anything's possible. In the end, I don't want to expect much because then I'd be disappointed if it turns out bad. But I'm really hoping that this has the same heart as the original show, since that would be amazing. Please let this be a good reboot. Anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Be sure to give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.